hello friends welcome to the seek show channel and uh, hope you have watched my last video about how to make a simple map using ArcGIS. the link has provided in the description section below uh, okay today's lesson is about attribute table in this video you are going to learn what is the attribute table how to use attribute table for our own purpose in the ArcGIS. Right, okay, let's move to the uh, today's lesson. Okay, last time we created a, a very nice map like this. And what are these values? Today I'm going to show you, to teach you uh, about these values. From where these values are coming from, right? these values are stored in the attribute table so how do you go to, to the attribute table how to find the attribute table just try to click here and open the attribute table here you can see the uh, shortcut or control plus T without going to the uh, without clicking control plus uh, T you can directly open the attribute table so this is the attribute table and I'm going to show you this right click on this file and open the attribute table so what is the attribute table it's a kind of a database you can see there are columns here several columns and there are several rows so this column is called as a field this is a field this is another field so each and every field uh, has data several types of data so this is the uh, shape of the geographic feature here and this is the province the province in is the field name of this field this column is called as a field the area is the field name so likewise there are several fields with uh, meaningful field names right so what, how to use this attribute table for your purpose today we are going to learn about it right suppose i want to uh, i will do some uh, small changes in this map okay right i have uh, done small changes here right suppose this is a map you want to find the colombo district in sri lanka or if you want to find what are the districts in southern province in sri lanka if you know exactly uh, where those districts have located you can use this uh, select features click on this and click on the place that you think uh, this is the Colombo district right likewise you can select whatever the uh, district or whatever geographical feature using this select feature to this one and um, if you want to use several districts you can press shift button and click like this if you want to deselect what you have selected go to this clear selected features click on right now i want to find another way to find colombo district in this map just go to attribute table or you can use ctrl plus t button to open the attribute table here right and or you can go to click this and go to attribute table here and you can navigate for Colombo district here oh, this is Colombo district so now you have to select the Colombo district but you don't know this is the Colombo district or this one or this one exactly you don't know where is the Colombo district so you have what you have to do is just click select the uh, relevant row at the same time it will show in like this right? likewise you have to select whatever district in this map like if you want to select candy district just select candy district and or if you want to select uh, goal click on this one right suppose if you want to find a province so you can use at the same uh, same time you can select uh, province here 
now you have select a southern province here and there are three southern provinces you have to use shift button right now you know the southern province have three districts right. this is a one method to select what you want to select the geographical feature that you want also another um, shortcut suppose that if you want to select all the districts except the southern province or if you want to select all the districts except these gold mantra and hambandar districts what you have to do is you have to select one by one no there is a shortcut for this first you have to select these uh, districts at right now you have to switch the selection there is a small uh, icon here you can see switch selection just click on it at once it will select what you have previously been selected right now you know how to switch selection how to select and how to deselect or how to clear the selection i'm going to clear the selection right i will show another way to select what you want just open the attribute table here you can see there is a there is an icon called select by attributes click on this or you can go to this tiny arrow and go to uh, select by attributes here click on it right you have you are going to develop a small equation or it's called uh, a query or a simple expression so now you want to find the district called Colombo district just double click on you have to uh, select the method first uh, create a new selection now. click this you double click on this uh, district and click on this equal and get the unique values and you have to select Colombo double click on this here now you have developed a simple expression here click this verify icon if there is an error it will show so this this there is no error in my uh, expression and click ok and apply right. now you know what <coughs> what is uh, the thing you have to do to select an item or a geographic feature you don't have to uh, read and uh, each and every uh, row for the district that you are finding just go to this uh, select by attribute table and develop a or write an expression likewise i'm going to clear this and i'm going to find a province i want to select a province at once double click on this province in and equal get the unique values click here you can see southern province here double click on this if you are sure about this expression you don't have to verify and click apply right now you can see already southern province have selected with these uh, three districts right and i'm going to uh, deselect the districts here oh i'm going to switch the selection click on this switch selection you can see i have selected all the provinces except uh, this southern province right now you know simple operation how to select a geographical feature using attribute table right i'm going to clear the selection here okay right uh, this is now you know this is a field this is another field this is another field right now we want to find the uh, statistics if, if, if your field has values numbers you want to find statistics to find statistics in your field just click or select the field right click on it and go to statistics here you can see the count minimum maximum sum mean and standard deviation right now you know this the mean of this uh, area is 2622 right 
okay suppose that you want to find this rig which has the area larger than the mean value of this uh, area what is called uh, the mean value of is this uh, is uh, around uh, 2622 right if you want to select the area larger than 2622 what you have to do is check for each and every value what uh, what is the uh, what are the values which have uh, higher than the mean value so this is somewhat difficult so, to do that in a simple manner just go to uh, select by attributes here again we can develop a simple uh, expression or an equation right you have to just select double click on this area and equal o uh, larger than 2622 if you want to verify just click here my expression was successfully verified so i can apply see see what happened likewise you can use this select by attribute table in very useful manner uh, to select uh, <coughs> anything uh, to find advance or to select uh, advance right so these are the areas i have selected these areas are have uh, higher area than the mean value so if you want to find the uh, areas which have uh, lower than the mean value what you have to do is again open attribute table and just uh, switch selection right this is the way you have to do all right i'm going to open attribute table here and uh, clear the selection right now you know uh, some two uh, shortcut ways to select uh, what you want and also you know how to get the statistics of a numbered or value uh, field okay. go to this field properties click on whatever what is uh, called uh, 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 any field click on this go to properties you can see the field name here field properties population in 1981 and the, uh, the type is double double means uh, numbers with uh, fractional values right i will show you check this field properties you can see type string field name here right i will show you how to add a field and how to calculate something both right just click here and go to add field i will show you how to get this how to get this uh, column again right just go to uh, add field here click on this give something uh, meaningful name for this uh, field i will type uh, population density uh, 1963 right so uh, in this field uh, we are going to add numbers so you uh, we are going to add double if you are going to fill the uh, field with uh, numbers which have no fractional values uh, you have to select one of these no fractional values these have fractional values float means one single uh, or a single decimal place double means uh, a double decimal place right so i'm going to click this double and click ok and uh, duplicate and uh, it will rename as uh, 64 i will uh, population population density in the right now i have created uh, a new field right now i am going to calculate population density in 1963 so this is the population in 1963 and this is the area so what you have to do is the population in 1963 uh, divided by the area right just 
click this field and go to field calculator you are going to uh, calculate or add a value to this field click on this and uh, yes and develop your equation here uh, population in 1963 divided by area double click here and click ok it will calculate automatically uh, 38.86 here 13.6 same right likewise you can use this attribute table or uh, for you any purpose to calculate something new something worth okay and uh, these are some basic uh, operations or some useful tips in the attribute table there are so many things you will learn in the future okay uh, that's all for today you have learned something new some tips about attribute table uh, I will be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, be familiar with the RVIA software. Keep practice what you have learned today. And take care. Bye bye.